Me voy a trapear y no me vas a escolar. Sí. Así un día conocí gordos, flacos y rubios. Vi había un patito muy especial. Sorry, good evening. <laughs> good evening, teacher. Hello, everyone. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Nice. How was your weekend? ¿Qué tal el fin de semana? How was your weekend? So so. So so? Busy? Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, guys, it's Monday. Yes, and it's the class number 19. Can you imagine tomorrow is our last class? Mm. Don't cry, okay? Don't cry. <laughs> Just kidding. So, uh, let me show you. Well, before I show you the class, uh, I'm going to take the attendance and remember to say present right here, okay? So I'm going to start with Mr. Alexander Presa. Present teacher. Okay, Alex, good, you could make it. Uh, Carlos Gonzalez. Carlos Pinto. Daniela Ardo. Present teacher. Okay, Edwin Elias Ramirez, ya puso ahí present. <laughs> Okay, good, Edwin. Gerson Otoniel Tobar. Y Gilmar Alexander Alvarado. Present teacher. Entre Alfredo Marroquín Miranda. Ok. <laughs> eh, what about Irving Osmin Rodríguez? Present teacher. Okay. Ismael Isaac Aguilar Rivera. I am here, teacher. Okay. Good, evening. Juan, good evening. Juan Francisco López Marroquín. Karen Michelle Ayala Ayala. Present teacher. Eh, Luis Alonso Carrillo Vázquez. Present teacher. Ok. Mario Alfredo Tejada Maldonado. Metzi Damaris Molina Guevara. Rosa Anabel Chávez de Córdoba. Present teacher. Ok, Rosy. Silvia Janet Carrillo Vázquez. Hello, teacher. Good evening. I heard some. 
Good evening, Harrison. Okay, Veronica Susana. Present. Thank you. Jessica Bianca. Present, teacher. Okay. Um, David Hernández. Thank you, people, for being on time. Good. Guys, isn't it cold where you live? Because right here it's very cold. <laughs> I have to go and look for my sweater because, yes, it's very cold in here. Good. So it's our video conference number 19. Let me show you the screen for the class. The topic of today's class is how to use prepositions or place. Okay. That is our video conference number 19. And the class objective is participants will be able to tell someone directions about where a workplace is located. Okay. Van a poder. Decirle a alguien direcciones sobre dónde está ubicado su lugar de trabajo. Agenda. I need Herson, the volunteer, to read the activities in the agenda. Can you read them, please, Herson? Activity one. Herson, can you hear me? Okay. Uh -huh. Activity one. Okay, uh, I think one preview of premium knowledge, preview of premium no, no care, knowledge, knowledge, no activity, activity two, two. what part purpose. Prepositions of place. Activity two, wrap up. Preposition of place. Of place. Activity three. Enjoy. Employees information. Activity four. I think Herson is having problems with the internet. Okay. <laughs> Employees. Hello. Hello, Herson. Thank you. So let's begin with a review of the previous knowledge or previous class. The last class you were learning about oh. adjectives. adjectives to describe places. Do you remember some adjectives that we studied? Some adjectives? Do you remember some adjectives? Dirty. Dirty, clean, okay. Mother. Modern. Big or small. Beautiful or ugly. Smelly. Beautiful. <laughs> yes, okay. Now here, guys, I have more sentences with more adjectives. We have some adjectives, maybe you can repeat after me. For example, beautiful. Beautiful. Bright. Beautiful. Yes, bright. 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 Crowded. 
crowd. Crowd. crowd it is lleno de gente like in this moment downtown San Salvador right yes, el centro yes. de San Salvador <laughs> yes and uh, um, dirty which means not clean empty Dory. empty means nothing inside nothing empty significa vacío Expensive, Depends. a lot of money. It costs a lot. Large, large means very big. Messy means disorganized. Disordenado. Modern, modern. Neat, neat is the opposite of messy. Neat means organized, clean, neat. New is the opposite of old, nuevo. Noisy, like some microbuses, right? Like some minibuses, noisy, a lot of noise, high, uh, high volume music, etc. Spacious, related to the space, right? Big tall. Like a tower, alto, traditional. So let's read the sentences and you tell me what is the correct adjective for each sentence. For example, let me have one person, Michelle, maybe you can read the first one. That restaurant. That restaurant, much service. Really good food. Oh, sorry. Really good food is really. There are so many people there. Okay, so according to this, I listen. Hay mucha gente. There are so many people there. So what is the the adjective? When it's something is with, with a lot of people, yes. Yo les dije como San Salvador ahorita, como el centro, la like downtown San Salvador. Danger. Danger of no, it says no. that restaurant. Dice ese restaurante debe servir comida muy buena porque está uh -huh. muy hay mucha gente ahí. Si sí, hay mucha gente, entonces, ¿cómo está? Full. Ajá, full of people means crowded. Crowd it, okay? Crowd it. Teacher, good evening. I am here. Good evening, Mr. Tejada. Okay, number two. Silvia, would you like to read, please? There are a lot, let, there are lots of clothes. There are lots of clothes in, bro, in books, in toy. I over my son's bathroom. Andrew, it is very. Mm -hmm. Dice, there are lots of clothes and boots and toys all over my son's bathroom. It's very messy. Messy, exactly. Messy. It's very messy. Como the soccer player, like it's soccer player. It's very messy. Mm -hmm. Desordenado. Okay, after my son cleaned his room, it was. Después que mi hijo limpió y ordenó su cuarto, ya estaba. 
Teacher escribió en otro oh, lado no. respuesta. Oh, Thank you. Ok, number three. Eh, Mr. Tejada lo quiere leer, please. Can you read it, please, Mr. Tejada? Number three, really? I really like my apartment. It isn't dark. It has large window, so it's very... Okay. Espacios, espacios. Well, um, it says that he likes his apartment because it is not dark. It isn't dark. It has large windows where the light goes through the windows. So the apartment is very the opposite of dark. Bright. Bright, exactly. It's very bright. It's muy claro. Oh. It's very bright. Okay. Next. Um, Veronica, could you read it, please? Veronica, are you there? Yeah. Repeat, please, teacher. Can you read, please, number four? Okay. Number four. After my son cleaning his room, it was. Mm -hmm. Dirty. Dice, después que mi hijo limpió su cuarto, estaba... It's the opposite of Dory. Bueno, está, it's on the next slide. It was very neat. Nítido, limpio. Neat, organized. <coughs> It was very neat. Okay, number five, Luis Alonso. Okay, okay, teacher. No one is in the classroom. It is. No one is in the classroom, nobody. So it's. How do you say vacío in English? Empty. Empty. Ajá. Dice, nadie estaba en el salón. Estaba vacío. Vale. Copy, please, the new words. Copien las palabras nuevas, el vocabulario nuevo. Was empty. Ok, number six. I will read it. That house costs a lot of money. It was. Okay, the house costs a lot of money. X. Expensive. X expensive. Es cara, X expensive. Teacher, a okay. MPT le falta una E, ¿verdad? Empty. No, así es. Así se escribe. Uh -huh. ah, ok, gracias. Ok, that house costs a lot of money, it's expensive. What about the next one? Rosy, could you please read it? Number six. Seven. Ah, six. Seven. Six. No, I'm sorry, seven. 
Canada. It's not uh, only building in France, in France, in France. it's a rainy tweet. No sé qué es lo que dice. Okay. What is the adjective? Yes. No, no sé qué es lo que dice. Help, help for Rossi. Uh, mm -hmm. Nice. Maybe. Okay. Now let me see the, the options. Beautiful, bright, crowded, dirty, empty, expensive, large, messy, modern, neat, new. Noisy, spacious, spacious, tall, and traditional. Which one is the correct one? Dice, no es un edificio feo, en realidad es bastante. Mother. Mother. Espacios. Mm, espacio tiene que ver espacioso con algo que es grande, pero aquí está hablando de que es feo. Dice no es feo. Ah, ah it's really quiet. Ah, it's really Number eight. Irving. Would you like to read it, please? Oh. Irving, can you read number A? No está Irving. <laughs> ok, Alexander. Ok, teacher. Number A. Yes. 60,000 people can sit in that football stadium. It's not small. It's. Ajá. Uh -huh. Espacioso. Ok. Toma. 60,000 people can sit in that football stadium. It's not small. It's. Bueno, si caben 60 mil personas sentadas. Sí. Ajá. Pueden sentar 60 mil personas en el estadio de fútbol. Este no es chiquito, es espacioso. ¿Cómo yeah. se pregunta? En este caso, creo que quedaría pues, mejor el, el adjetivo X large. Es enorme. Ah, enorme. Ah, okay. Large. Okay, next one. Large. Okay. It's, we didn't eat at that restaurant because it wasn't clean. It was. Dice, no comimos en ese restaurante porque no estaba limpio, estaba sucio. What is the adjective? Dirty. Dirty, exactly. Number 10. Vamos a ver quién lo quiere leer. Who wants to read it? There is a office 
building near my home. It was in there last year. Good. So there is a new building, right? New office building. Hay un nuevo edificio de oficinas nuevo cerca de mi casa. No estaba ahí el año pasado. Number 11. Our home is too small. We want to move to a more. Ahora sí, es a quien estaba diciendo muchas veces. Espacios. Spacious, spacious. Yes, espacioso. Espec Number 12. Let me see. Merci. Hello, teacher. Number 12, can you read and complete, please? No. Number 12. There is a small, but I, I don't know what's the, no sé qué colocarme. It's, no, no sé ahorita, teacher. ando un poco perdida, teacher, porque le estaba escuchando un poco porque ando comprando comida. Ajá, yo al baile pupusas. No, aquí ando Just comprando eating. para la semana. Just kidding. Ok, so there is a small traditional market. Hay un mercado tradicional en nuestro pueblito. Es igual, es el que los mercados de hace 100 años. Ok, number 13. Juan Francisco, are you there? Hello, teacher. Okay. Voy a abrir el mismo, no le puse mucha atención. Sorry. Ajá, le vamos a jalar las orejas. Ok, Gilmar Alexander. Number 13. I, uh -huh. I need uh, a the kid place or is two. This place is two. Nice. I need okay. a quiet place to study. This place is two. Um, popular. Let's see. Dice, es un lugar tranquilo. Yo necesito un lugar tranquilo para estudiar. Ah, este okay. lugar es muy... Noisy. Noisy, muy ruidoso, right? Ok. Al. Noisy. Ay, no puedo poner el... Ok, no es. Number 14. 14. It's a. It's a tall bean bean. Tiene 35 pisos. ¿Se imaginan? Subir 35. And the last one, that supermarket is a traditional market. It's very modern. 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 Excellent. It's the opposite. Modern. Guys, please copy the new words for you. Okay, people, did you take notes about the new vocabulary? Or repeat after me again. Beautiful. 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 Bright. Crowded. Crowdy. Dirty. Dirty. Empty. Empty. 
expensive, expensive, large, large, messy, messy, modern, modern, neat, neat, neat. new, new, new. Noisy. 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 Spacious. Spacious. Tall. 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 Traditional. 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 Vaya, chicos, hoy ya saben, ¿verdad? Que, ¿Qué significan cada una con su ejemplo? Okay, so now for the warm-up, we are going to practice oh, no. prepositions of place. I am going to send you guys the link so that you can go, go to the web page and do this exercise, okay? Did you already receive it? Are you there, guys? Yes, teacher. Okay, let me share with you the screen to. Okay, so choose the right proposition. What is the right proposition? What is the apple? Under, behind, or next to? Under. Under. Okay, under. What about the girl under. and the car? In front of, in, or on? In front of. What about the little boy? On, behind, or next to the box? Behind. Next to the box. Behind significa atrás y next to significa a la par de. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Behind. Okay. Now, what about the shoes? In front of, in, or under the table? Under the table. Under the table. Okay. The next one. In front of, in, or next to? In front of. In front of. Okay. In, next one. On, in front of, or next to? Next. Next to. Next to. Okay, the next one we see the cat. <laughs> On, behind, oh. or next to? On, exactly. What about the giraffe? Behind, in, or under the basket, the clothes basket? No. Behind, very good. What about uh, the raccoon and the tree? Under the tree, behind the tree, or next to the tree? Next, next to the tree. The cat, in front of, in, or on? Um. <laughs> in uh, window. In front of. In front, of the in front of the window, in, in the front. window, or on the window? In. Let's say in front of the window. Uh, on, behind, and next to. 
behind the books. On. Okay. And the last one, the rat. What is the rat? In front of, in, or under? There. It's in front of. Okay. Ah, y entonces esta era. Ah, bueno. Ella está detrás del libro, vea. Behind. And, I, and this is under. Okay. Under. Debajo de under. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. There is another exercise, I guess. Let me check. Yes, there is another one. About how to give directions. Okay, I'm going to send it to you. Okay, are you in the web page? Okay, in this exercise, you will find this is to listen and choose. You will choose if it's a uh, true or false. Si es cierto o si es verdadero. Listen and choose. Me dicen si escuchan el sonido. Escucha. No. No. No, fine. teacher. Okay. No, teacher. The bus stop is across from the public library. Can you listen? Yes. The yes. bus stop is across from the public library. Is this true or false? The bus stop is across from the public library. The bus stop is across from the public library. True or false? True. It's true. Okay, next. The phone box is next to the town hall. Mm -hmm. Listen again. The phone box is next to the town hall. The phone box is next to the town hall. Mm -hmm. True or false? True or false? The phone box is next to the town hall. The phone box is next to the town hall. True or false? This is true. Okay. Next. The post office is across from the Korean restaurant. The post office. What is the post office? Oh, it's across from the Korean restaurant. 
I think it's not true. It's false. The post office is across from the uh, Korean restaurant. King Avenue. Yes, they are not across. They are not near. So that's false. The music yeah. shop is between the museum and the chemist. One more time. The music uh, shop is between the museum and the chemist. <laughs> The music shop is between the museum and the chemist. True or false? The music shop is between the museum and the chemist. The music shop is between the museum and the chemist. True or false? True. It's true. The park is across from the club. True. Mm -hmm. Next, uh, listen again. The park is across from the club. Okay. The park. Is it true or false? True. And the next. The park is across from the club. False. It's false. This is okay. The park is across from the pub. And that is not. Oh. Well, listen again. The park is across from the club. The park is across from the club. True or false? True. It's true. The car park is next to the Italian restaurant. The car park is next to the Italian restaurant. True or false? Italian restaurant, car park. False. Yes, it's false. The church is between the hotel and the shopping center. The church is? Between. False. The church is between the hotel and the shopping center. Between the hotel and the shopping center. True or false? False. Okay, yeah. What can I tell? The theater is between the news agent and the school. The theater is between the news agent and the school. Okay, the theater is between the news agent and the school. True or false? True. Yes, you're right. Let's check our answers. Excellent. Wow, you have good listening skills. I'm so proud of you guys. Okay. Oops, my camera is off. Great. Okay. So let's see what is next in our class. Did you like the activity? Le gusta la actividad o so so? Yes, teacher. <laughs> okay. Yes, now I'm going to read for you. Uh, the presentation, this presentation uh, 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 of someone, ay, perdón, me quedé esta. Someone who, uh, with, uh, with um, their personal information, okay? The information from their workplace. Employees information, name Mauricio Quintanilla, office or main phone. 7203-9164, the workplace, a Rose Technology Company, address on Roosevelt Street and First Avenue, A53, Santa Cecilia, San Salvador. Job position, software designer, department production ID, MQ103059. Okay, so... This is the employee's information, and now we are going to answer questions, okay? 
The questions are, circle which of the alternate directions below is the correct one. It is located in front of the mall of first, on First Avenue. What is the correct? It is located across First Avenue behind the restaurant. It is located on Roosevelt Street between the restaurant and Woodward. It is located along Roosevelt Street next to the city hall in the park. Which one is the correct? Dice que hay que ver the page 39. Do you have the map of page 39? No? Yes, teacher. Okay, so what is the correct direction? Is correct number one. On First Avenue. Eh, solo déjenme buscar, chicos, el mapa. Olvide ponerlo. Okay, so this is the map of ah, Slovenia. I found the map. Can you, can you see the map? Pueden ver el mapa. Ok, vaya. ¿Cuál sería la dirección correcta? Dice, mire, it is located. Bueno, él trabaja en. On Roosevelt Street and First Avenue. A Rose Company. Yeah, no. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay, I think it's the one of the correct answers is the number one. It is located in front of the mall on First Solo. Avenue. 
but it's not in front of the <laughs> it's not in front of the mall, right? So it's not correct. It is located across First Avenue behind the restaurant. No, pero no es esa avenida, sino esa no It's located on Roosevelt Street between the restaurant and food world. It's Avenue, Street. I'm sorry. Birch uh, Avenue, the Rudolph Street restaurant. Okay, on Roosevelt Street between the restaurant and the food world. Yes, that is the correct. That is one. Mm -hmm. Number two is located on, on Roosevelt Street between the restaurant and Boulevard. ¿Qué vamos a hacer hoy, chicos? Ahora cada quien va a escribir. Bueno, primero sobre. Ay, permítanme aquí, se me cruzó algo. Vaya. Uh, you can see here the employee's information. Dice que la tienen que llenar sobre alguien más. So in, in this moment, I'm going to send you to the break rooms, but y ustedes van a compartir esta información ustedes con sus compañeros. Por ejemplo, ¿verdad? Dice name, office, no, eh, phone. Where do you work? And other questions. Eh, todas esas preguntas las pueden hacer para llenar el cuadrito con la información de su compañero. ¿Sí? Podría poner eh, las preguntas para anotarlas. Sí, ahorita se las voy a enviar. Les voy a enviar WhatsApp para que las tengan ahí. Vale. Ahora para que complete la información que ya les envié ahí por WhatsApp, les voy a poner un break room so that you can ask and answer the questions and complete the information about your partner. Go ahead. Vamos a ver, varios aún no han entrado a las secciones de grupo. Sus compañeros nos están esperando.
No sé qué se refiere al ID. Creo que es como la identificación, carnet. Yes, that's right. Teacher, y en el caso de, teníamos una pregunta, ¿cómo se pondría ella? Dice, ¿su jefe era la verdad, Daniela? Ajá. Uh -huh. Subjefe. Sí, ahí lo llevamos como pone. Uh -huh. Tendría like. que responder. My job position is. No recuerdo si había dicho subboss. Mire, me sale aquí que es the beauty chief. I'm gonna uh, type it on the chat. Okay. The beauty change. Uh -huh. The beauty teacher. The beauty change. Mm, pero ese es el... <coughs> Vaya, entonces el otro sería No, permítanme Assistant Assistant The Beauty O oh, The Beauty Chief Cualquiera de los dos uh -huh. Ok también sale, mire, como The Beauty Heads. The Beauty. Oh. The Beauty Heads. The Head es como el jefe y los subjefes, los subjefes de Beauty Head. Ok. Ok. Thanks, teacher. Ya están por terminar. Are you about to finish? Uh, the fears. Oh, okay. the fears. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> 
eh, ustedes, como son tres, ¿verdad? Y uno le pregunta, por ejemplo, a Daniela Alexander, y a Alexander a Verónica, y Verónica a Daniela. Sí. Sí. Yo tengo que leer Ok, gracias. Ok, see you later. See you later. Ahorita voy, ahorita voy. Voy tres. Two, two, three, six, five, seven, one, three. One, three. Ok. Quiere ver en español, ¿verdad? Para que no confundirlo. 22, 36, 57, 3. Espero que vamos bien. Héctor, en inglés. Héctor. No, ya le he dicho. Ya lo dicho. dijo en inglés. Yo para corroborar el número. Again, again in English. <laughs> okay. Wow. Okay. Oh, you see, um, where did you work? Yeah. Office. Yes, my phone. No. My phone. Office. Hello, teacher. Hi, your son. Hi, Rosy. Are you about to finish? Estoy buscando la dirección de mi trabajo. I'm sorry. Eh, la dirección de mi trabajo, la dirección de mi trabajo es más conocida como son industrial, edificio administrativo de CEPA, pero casi no, no se mencionan las avenidas como no está en una zona tan... No, no está en ciudad, sino que en zona rural. Ok. Yeah, just... Ya Sería ya como carretera. Ok. Como carretera hacia. Así. Okay. On the road to... Ok. Thank you. Entonces le pongo el mi O Ahí se lo escribí para okay. que lo escriba. Workplace sería en el caso. Rosy, we can hear your girls. Your children are playing. We can listen to your children playing. El número de teléfono. What's your office number? What's the office number? Two, 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 two. <laughs> And the iPhone. Two, 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 two. <laughs> Hello, teacher. Hello, Mr. Tejada. Hello, Miss Vialta. Hello, teacher. Are you finished? Not yet. Not yet. But yeah, are what? you about to finish? Yes. With the, with the first part. With the first part. Okay. Yeah. Jessica, what's, what's your ID? Jessica? Hello. What's your ID? ID is number? identification number. Uh -huh. eh, pero le está preguntando a él la identificación. ¿Cómo? No entiendo. A veces les dan un carnet con identificación en el trabajo. Y si no le da, puede decir su DUI o inventes de un nombre. Un número. Ah, ok, vale. So, zero, zero, five. Zero, five. Yes. Hello, Michelle and Irving. Hello, teacher. And ya lo hicimos, solo que Irving es ocupado. Okay, but you're already finished. 
Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Good. Go. Hello, teacher. No sé si pudo con alguien. Eh, no, ya llegué algo tarde, pero llené la ficha con, con mis datos. Ok, excelente. Good job. Thank you. Good, so I think almost everybody's here now and it's time to take the second attendance. So please, please open your camera and say present or here. So let me start with Mr. Presa, Mr. Alexander Presa. Present teacher. Okay, Mr. Gonzalez Nuila. Mr. Carlos Pinto. Mrs. Daniela Rodriguez. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Edwin Elias Ramirez Rivera. Okay. Gerson Otoniel Tobar. Gilmar Alvarado. Present teacher. Thank Present you. teacher. Okay. Okay, okay, Mr. Pinto, okay, Mr. Tobar, <laughs> Hector Marroquín, present teacher, Irving Rodriguez, thank you, Irving Rodriguez, present teacher, okay, um, what about Ismael Isaac? Aguilar. Present teacher. Okay. Juan Francisco López Marroquín. Present teacher. Michelle Ayala. Present teacher. Ok, Mr. Carrillo Vázquez. Luis Alonso, no le escuchamos. We don't hear. Present teacher. Ok. Present. Mr. Tejada. I'm here, teacher. Okay, Metsi Molina. Present, teacher. Okay, Rosy. Present, teacher. Thank you. Silvia Carrillo. Present, teacher. Okay, Veronica Lebron. Present, teacher. Jessica Lialta. Present, teacher. And David Hernandez. Vale, vale, vale. David? Okay, thank you so much, guys, for uh, saying present. Now, guys, did you finish the information? Okay. okay. Uh, employee uh -huh. information? Uh -huh. Uh -huh.
Did you finish the information? Name, yes. work. Okay, good. Yes. Very good. Nice, nice. Okay. So right now, uh, we are going to use that information a little bit. But in this moment, uh, I'm going to teach you how to use prepositions. So please look at these examples. Where is the park located? ¿Dónde está el parque ubicado? It is located among many places. Entre muchos lugares. Among se, di, se es como entre o en medio de muchos lugares. Between es solo entre dos. Entre dos. Between es solo entre dos cosas. Pero among es de más de dos cosas, ¿verdad? Where is the sports palace located? It's located on Barrios Street in front of the park. Where is the mall located? It is located near the restaurant, cerca del restaurante. Where is the church? It's located past the school. ¿La iglesia está? Después de la escuela, al pasar la escuela. Vamos a practicar un poquito con un pequeño ejercicio online. Ahorita les voy a enviar el link para que puedan entrar. And we are going to practice, ¿ok? With prepositions of place in the city. Ok, teacher. Ok, thank you. Ok, let's go. Positions of place, the city. Well, it's slow. Se tarda un poquito en cargar. Ok, si no les carga, lo podemos hacer aquí. For example, it has many options. Is there a swimming pool? Hay alguna, hay una piscina? Is there a swimming pool? Options. Yes, there is a swimming pool in front of the city center. No. Yes, yes, there is a swimming pool next to the sports center. Okay, and yes, there is a swimming pool behind the supermarket. What is the correct answer? It's in supermarket. B. Yes, there is a swimming pool in. Next to the sports center. Look, it says swimming pool. Piscina. Next to the sports center. So the correct answer is B, and that is correct. Okay, next. Is there a supermarket? Option A. Yes, there is a supermarket next to the swimming pool. Yes, there is a supermarket in front of the hospital. Or yes, there is a supermarket between the bank and the hospital. Option A, option B, or option C. Hey, teacher. Yes, it's the supermarket is between the hospital, está en medio de, o está entre el hospital y el banco, between the hospital and the bank. So that's correct. Okay. We have two out of nine. Is there a bank? Is there a bank? Yes, there, yeah, is a, there is a bank in front of the sport center. Yes, there is a bank next to the bus stop. Sorry, next to the shop. Or yes, there is a bank behind the hospital. What is the correct form? 
letter letter a a letter a is the correct because the hospital i'm sorry the bank is in front of the sports center oops no le di no le marqué i'm sorry okay the next one is there a cinema? No, there isn't. Yes, there is a cinema next to the bus station. Or yes, there is a cinema next to the back. Next to the back. Look at the yes, picture. Yes, there is a cinema next to the bus station. Excellent. Okay, next. Okay. Is there a dog? No, there isn't. Yes, there is a dog in the park. Yes, there is a yes. dog next to the bank. The park. Yes, there is a dog in the park, right? Okay, what about the next one? Okay, the next. Is there a supermarket? Yes, there is a supermarket behind the park. Yes, there is a supermarket next to the shop. Or yes, there is a supermarket between the park and the police station. What is the correct answer? Okay, yes, there is a supermarket behind the park. Goodbye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. What are you doing? <laughs> <risa> Me desconecto unos segundos por el internet y me hacen un relajo. Me dijeron que iba a la clase, entonces no me han tomado los pies. Y esta. O sea, que ustedes ya quieren que sea martes, ¿verdad? Lo interesante es que ahí todos participamos bien rápido. Sí, ahí sí. Ya, que sea martes, que se termine, ya, que sea teacher, ya no. <risa> ok. No, no, no es usted teacher, no es usted para nada. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Es la hora. <risa> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y, me, y yo hablando aquí sola. <risa> ok, is that a supermarket? Yes, there is a supermarket behind the park. Yes, there is a supermarket next to the shop. Or is a supermarket station? A, B, or C? Vaya los que estaban de platicones. Alex Presa. Okay, Alex, what is the correct answer? Let us see, teacher. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, is there a hospital? 
Yes, is a key. Yes, there is a hospital. I Letter next C. to the supermarket. Letter C. Letter C. Okay. Letter C. Is there a library? Letter A. Yes. What is the correct answer? Yes, it is a library behind the museum. Yes, it is a library between the school and the museum. Or yes, there is a library in front of the school. Letter B. B. A. Behind the museum. Está atrás del museo. No está entre la escuela y el museo, ¿verdad? Porque aquí el museo está en medio. Es que Better está pay. detrás, ¿verdad? Detrás del museo. And the last one. Dios mío, lo que están mandando en el grupo. Okay, next question. Is there a house? Yes, there is a house in front of the supermarket. Yes, there is a house next to the supermarket. Or yes, there is a house behind the police station. <laughs> Let her see. Yes, está atrás. Miren, atrás de la estación de policía, you can see the, the house. And that's it. Okay. Thank you so much. Ahí sí que se nos... Ahí hubo una, ¿verdad? Que se nos trabó el dedo. Is there a supermarket? Yes, there is a supermarket behind the park. Aquí sí que... Es un error de, 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 de activity, of the activity. Okay, thank you so much. Good. ¿Cómo se enteraron el ejercicio? Interesting. Interesting. Very oh, good. Nice. Very good. Here we we can see what's the right position. We have a lot of places in the city and you have to complete with between, in front of, behind, next to, or near. Okay. Please complete the exercise. The supermarket is Veamos, the supermarket is This is uh, this is the supermarket and this is the library. The supermarket is between the library, in front of the library, behind the library, next to the library or near the library. Between two. Está a la par. Entonces es next to Next to <clears throat> the laboratory. The post office is the post office. The post office is this here between. The sports shop. Y aquí está the sports shop. Next to the library. Next behind. Very good. Shop. The post office is behind the sports shop. Atrás. Right. Number three. The pop is. The cinema and the Italian restaurant. Between. Between. The pop, pop. Do you know what a pop is? ¿Saben qué es un pop? No. 
It's like a bar or tavern. Un bar o una taberna. Okay, number four. The bank is the swimming pool. The bank is Uh huh, people. What is the bank with reference to the swimming pool? Next to no, the bank is not next to the swimming pool, the bank is in front. Of in front of. Yes. And the tier three is the tier three or or theater is on the under the sea. Debajo del zoológico. Sorry. <laughs> Our views next to, a la par, ¿verdad? Next to. Teacher, pero sí. Sí, está detrás. Ajá, está detrás, teacher. No está a la par. Vaya, pues le vamos a hacer caso. Se desmanda. <coughs> ok, so is behind. Okay, behind zoo. And the bookshop? Next to, next to the book. Veamos. The, okay, next, pero es el, el otro, ¿verdad? Next to the other book. <laughs> the bookshop is next to the pub. Number seven, the restaurant. The restaurant is between the hotel and the sport shop. Right? And the number eight, the Indian restaurant is the Indian restaurant is Ajá, chicos, participen, si no me voy a dormir. Next to Okay. The restaurant, bueno, ya le tenemos. Next to the post office. The Indian restaurant is next to the post Office. Okay. The hospital is. Where's the hospital? Beijing or next? Okay. The hospital is behind the bank. Behind. And number 10, the station is? Beijing. Next to the Next school. Next to the school. Ok, very good. Ya veo que ya se hicieron expertos usando esto. Ok, so now guys, you are going to complete the next exercise in your book. Along, in front of, behind, next to, between, across, past, 
and under. Para eso tienen que usar el mapa, el, uno de los mapas que, que, que tienen ahí en su manual, on page 39. Está en la, en la página 39, 39 if I am not mistaken. Ya saben de qué, de dónde van a, a sacar, de qué mapa. Yes, teacher. <laughs> okay, do you have the answers? Yes. Yo tengo problemas ahorita para compartir. No, no, no me sale. Ok, what is the, alguien que me diga, what is the first question? The Sport Palace is next to the bank. Ok. And that is? Yo puse que era next to. Pero si ven en el mapa, no está in a la par. In front of the bank. Ok. The sport palace is in front of the bank. Ok. Or across from the bank. También. Across the bank. Ok. The restaurant is. The restaurant is along First Avenue. Quiere decir que está en esa avenida, along First Avenue. Okay. The city hall is the city hall is 
The city hall is between, between the church and, and Woodward. Okay. And number four, the church and the city hall are the church and the city hall are between the no in front of in front of the park okay good okay and now the next activity Okay, for the next activity, I'm going to show you a map, guys. Yo les voy a presentar un mapa. Y ustedes tienen que hacer cinco preguntas. Por ejemplo, where is the bank? Where is the bookstore? Where is the hospital? Where is the police station? Where is the city hall? Oh, yes, no questions. For example, is the bookstore next to the hospital? Yes, it is or no, it isn't. Y luego, después de hacer las preguntas, vamos a, pre vamos a ir a, a grupos donde van a responderlas. Okay, so right now, in this moment, look at the map and create the questions, please. Guys, may I go to the restroom, please? No me dicen nada, no me van a dar permiso. May I go to the restroom, please? Yes, teacher, <laughs> go. <laughs> okay, when I come back, I want everybody finished with the five questions, okay? Okay, five.
Okay. Okay, people, do you have the questions? Okay, teacher. Good, so I'm going to send you to the groups and you ask and answer the questions, okay? Les voy a enviar la, la imagen, the map. I'm going to send you the map so that you can uh, share the screen or you can look at the map and ask questions, okay? Anyways, you already have the questions. Good. Have. Oh, Francisco, Luis, hello. What questions do you have, guys? I want to hear you. Lo quiero escuchar. Hello. Hello. What questions did you make? Luis, can you ask one? I will not teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes, there is a street and in front of the zoo, the zoo. Yes, there is. My bravo. There is a hot hotel behind to the bank. Behind yes, the bank. Is, is behind there a hotel the behind the bank? Just behind mm -hmm. the bank. Behind yes, the is. bank. Okay. Hmm? Yes, there is. Is um is the city hall in Wales West West Street? Um, on West Street. On. On West Street, 
Um, no, no es sin pron, ¿verdad? Sin, o sí, ¿verdad? Pero no, no es sin pron. Es un... Solo sería, is the city hall on West Street? Está en la calle ah, oeste. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. On West Street. Yes, Teddy. Hello, Hilmar and Veronica. Hey, teacher. Okay, do you have your questions, Hilmar? Veronica, do you have your questions? Este, teacher, entendimos que conforme al mapa que usted nos mandó, vamos a hacer las preguntas. Exactly. Y vamos a, por ejemplo, yo he hecho aquí una que puse, the school is next to the bus station. Is the school, is the school next to the bus station? Uh, is, the, is the school que está a la par, ¿verdad? Ajá. Y ahí le va a decir, yes, it is, yes. or no, it is. Uh -huh. Y, por ejemplo, the city hall is bending, bending, bending. Between. The bar, between the bar. Esa es la pregunta. Eh, 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 can you repeat, please? Este, ah. the city hall is this between, between the bar. Cuando usamos between, tiene que ser entre dos cosas. Ajá, entonces sería between the bar and the library. Is the city hall between the bar and the library? Uh -huh. Ahí sería. Porque between es en medio de o entre. Entre dos cosas. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ahí está bien. Teacher. Yes, Hilmar. Eh, yo he formulado una, pero no sé si estará correcta. Usted okay. me, eh, me corrige. Yes. Eh, the, the box is uh, next to a uh, hotel. Is, como es una pregunta, is the sí. bank, is the bank eh, next to the hotel? The... Yes. Yes. Yo ahí diría que el banco es, está en, en frente del hotel o el hotel está detrás del banco. The hotel is behind the bank. Se puede poner así, ajá, behind, atrás de. The hotel is behind the bank. The hotel. The hotel. The, is the hotel behind the bank? Is the hotel. Is the hotel behind the bank? Behind the bank. Okay, teacher, gracias. You're welcome. I have a question for you. It is. <clears throat> I have a question. Is the hospital next to the bookstore? Is the hospital? Next to, next to the bookstore? Next to. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. it is. Yes, it is. Okay, good. Very good. Okay. Vamos a regresar a la sesión principal. I have a question. Ismael Aguilar. Did we already have the 10 minute session after class? 
Ya tuve con usted la sesión de 10 minutos, Ismael. Finish, teacher. Juan Francisco, okay, Juan, can you please share with the class a question? Okay, uh, the four palace is next to the bank. Uh, the city hall is between the church and the bookwork. The restaurant is along with a menu. Uh, the church and the city hall are in front of the park. Okay, thank you, Francisco. And which map did you use? Ah, usted hizo la res las, las respuestas a estas, ¿verdad? Yes, it was. Okay, y de esta no hizo preguntas, Francisco, de este mapa. Oh. No, teacher. Okay. Okay, I need a volunteer to tell me one or two questions. Daniela? Hello. Me escuchan. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. A volunteer to ask one or two questions. Hi, teacher. Okay, Veronica. Is the hotel is Be begging, no behind. Sé cómo se behind. <laughs> is the hotel is behind the bank? Is the hotel behind the bank? bank? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay. Alex, do you want to share another question? Okay. Is oh. the school in front of the police station? Is the school in front of the police station? Excellent. And what is the answer, guys? No, it isn't. Is there a school in front of the police station? I think it is. We have police station <laughs> in the school. And the last question, Daniela? In the, in the bus station. Mm, there is a... Uh, como pregunta sería, is there? Is there? Is there library between uh, City Hall and Post Office? Yes, it is. Very good. Okay, guys, I'm going to take the attendance. Mr. Presa. Present teacher. Carlos Gonzalez. Carlos Pinto. Daniela Ardón. Present teacher. Edwin Elías. Feliz Chihuahuapan. Gerson Otonier. Present teacher. Gilmar Alvarado. Present teacher. Héctor Marroquín. Present teacher. Irving Rodríguez. Ismael Irving, no está. Ahí está, vea, conectado, pero. Ok. Ismael Isaac Aguilar.
Juan Francisco López. Present teacher. Thank you, Michelle Ayala. Present teacher. Luis Carrillo. Present teacher. Mario Alfredo. Present teacher. Messi Damaris. Rosa Anabel. Silvia Carrillo. Silvia ya no está. Verónica Romero. Present teacher. Jessica Marisol. Y David Hernández. No sé quién me hace falta de la sesión de 10 minutos. Bueno, me hace falta el Mr. Elías Ramírez, pero él es, no, no, no se puede. No sé quién más no ha tenido la sesión y le gustaría tenerla esta noche. Y si no, pues entonces nos vemos mañana. See you tomorrow in the last video conference. Your attendance is mandatory. It's an obligation because we have to fill out the survey. Mañana la asistencia a la clase es obligatoria y también el llenado de la encuesta que lo vamos a hacer todos juntos en clase. ¿Ok? Ok, teacher. Good night, people. Good night, people. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Sweet dreams. You too. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening. Good night, Irving. Good night, teacher. Good night.